Hi, today I'm in Kuwait. I've been attending the, the first Kuwaiti uh, National Nutrition Week and I was invited here as a speaker to discuss some of uh, my solutions to weight loss and regaining health. And I just wanted to kind of sum up some of the, the main points that were coming out that can help you. One thing was um, when you're approaching a clinic or a hospital um, or just an organisation to help you uh, regain your health, help you with your weight loss or diabetes control, whatever it is, the main thing to look for when you approach one of these companies is do they have this multidisciplinary approach? And what I mean by that is when you go there, is there an, are there options for you? So when you arrive, are you going to see a, a varied amount of people or at least someone with varied skills? Or are you only going to see the nutritionist? Because um, what we know is the more options you have and the more of a team approach you have, the more chance you will have of success. So when you come to one of these hospitals, really, you want to be seeing a good nutritionist, whether it's holistic nutrition or a clinical dietitian. You need someone with the skills. So look for the experience as well. Um, try and get someone that's, that isn't fresh out of school, that's not just going to give you um, what they learn, what they read in books. You want people that have, have experienced. Um, so look for, look for different levels of nutritionists within that company. Also, they should have some sort of psychologist. And, um, you know, most of us have these feelings that a psychologist, there's something wrong with us if we have to see one. It's not. People like to talk. We like to talk through our problems. Usually we do it, friends or family. If you pick an expert, you're going to get to the cause of the problem a lot quicker. Okay, That's what their job is. That's what they're designed to do. They just help you, um, they help you steer in the right direction. So they'll find solutions for you a lot more quickly and efficiently than maybe your friends or colleagues have. And you know, sometimes you don't want to talk to your friends. You, want to, you might have something very personal that you can just fire out to some professional and they'll help you. So look for this approach. Then you want the exercise person. You need um, someone who specializes in exercise that's helping people like you. So if your problem is you just want to lose weight, you don't want to go to the guy that's helping people um, prepare for bodybuilding shows. Okay? Be careful with your exercise guys. Generally, it's the exercise person that has the least amount of knowledge. If he's working within a team, nutritionists, psychologists, doctors, etc., they'll most likely be pretty good. So find out what their options are. And then finally, have a look at what their aftercare package is. There's no point you seeing someone and then they send you away and that's it, boom. Because it'll drop out your head, there's no support. What you want to look for is... Um, do they email you support? Do they text you? Do they call you? Do they offer you options of going to YouTube, looking at their website, taking a book away? You know, things that keep you going and make it easier for you. You want someone that helps you with baby steps, really. Okay, and, that, and that's what I've been teaching this week. How to, to help these people package up their program, which creates it uh, an, an easier after effect for the client. Because most of the work that you have to do it's not with the professionals, it's outside and it's on your own. So look for these options. Um, and that's kind of the main points really that, that came from yesterday's event. Um, and you know, it was really interesting, I was happy to speak, uh, happy to meet lots of interesting people in Kuwait. It's a lovely, beautiful country. As you can see, I get to stay on a, near a great beach. Um, uh, it's been amazing, I, I've really, really found it an interesting place. So I'm gonna leave you three tips to take away today that'll help you. Number one is, whenever you're trying to change something, stop, okay? Stop, reevaluate what's going on, and get your compass out. Find your direction, whether it's going to a professional to get help, or whether you're using the internet to source information. But just start to, to make some basic steps and some basic goals, and stick it up somewhere where you can see it. You know, these are my first two, two three steps, okay? You'll always get there quicker with an expert holding your hand, but some people, you don't need it. Okay, you can take the free option, use the internet. Okay? Number two, you need to clean yourself up. Right? If you're unhealthy or you're overweight, there's a problem inside. There's some junk. Your, your sink is blocked up. So you need to get rid of the blockage. So find a source that can help you with a good detox or good cleanse. It, it's so important to do this. If not, you're going to get the yo-yo effect um, with weight loss. So you're going to lose it, bring it back, lose it, bring it back. You need to clean up. You need to balance. <clears throat> and then finally, once you've stopped, you've cleaned and detoxed, you need to rebuild. Okay? Rebuilding requires, at first, nutrients. You don't need to be running around, hitting the gym, anything like that. You just need 
really high quality food. Biggest advice is either get super green food in a supplement style from an organic company, super greens, some natural um, vegan protein if you can, again from an organic company. <clears throat> and, then, and then thirdly, if you can possibly do it, get a juicer. Juice and juice and juice and juice. Vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. A little bit of fruit to sweeten, but mainly vegetables. Now, if you don't want to spend any money um, and you have access to you know, just your local store, just go and buy foods that are nice and easy on the body, like salads and vegetables, and spend at least three days focusing on these foods. Okay? If possible, your, your rebuilding stage, really it should be a couple of weeks, so two to four weeks. But you know, you've got to take it step by step. So they're my three top tips. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you enjoy the lovely views of, of Q8. And um, I look forward to bringing you more information. And go regain your health.